What's up, everyone? Look at this Datnoid. He is always coming right up top trying to get the food. Absolutely loving this beast of a Datnoid. He's only 15 in inches, which is monster to some, but still small to us. But he is definitely becoming one of my favorites. He just, so, just has such a personality. But moving on, we've got some new stuff over here. You guys seen we got the albino Paku in. And uh, we've got some fish over here that we want to go ahead and move out of quarantine. First up, we've got this African giraffe catfish. You guys know they came in with that bacterial infection. We got it uh, closed up, healed up. And now his skin is growing back, so now his fins can heal back in. His tail was a bit messed up. We'll get him back to 100%. We're going to go ahead and throw him in the 580 with the tiger fish, along with this uh, albino Asian red tail. We're going to go ahead and throw him in there, and hopefully everyone can get along. All right, so we're going to take this giraffe cat. We're going to toss him into the 580 with the armadas and the piaras. And hopefully he'll keep that tank a little bit cleaner as well. Bam, look at him. He is now healed up to the point to where I'm cool with putting him in with our fish. Here we go. And in we go. Bam. There you go, bud. Enjoy your nice new home. Go ahead and keep the, keep the bottom clean for me, would ya? That'll definitely help. But I got one more guy coming in th this tank. Should add some color to it as well. All right, right in here, we've got this little golden Asian red tail. Come on, bud. There we go. There he is. Look at him go. Bam, got him. Beautiful fish. Let's just hope he uh, plays well with others. And out we go. And in we go. There you go, bud. I promise you like it. I told you he'd add some color to this. He's, you know, down bottom. Everything else is mid to top dwelling. So add some color in behind, you know, uh, the driftwood back there. Of course, the giraffe cat's over here. I definitely have to do some makeover on this tank. I absolutely just am not happy with it. But I do like that he's perched underneath that driftwood. Kind of neat. You see, sometimes this is my problem. I just work and I work and I work. And then after I'm done working, I'm like, oh, crap, I forgot the film. Well, I did add in Mr. Flowerhorn down here. Beautiful, beautiful fish. I went ahead and put him in here just to prepare and clear up some of the tank room in there. He is in here with plecos. He was playing nice with uh, other fish in the tank, so I'm not worried about him being a bully in this tank. He just gets a little tank upgrade for a while. So now we have a bunch more tanks open for incoming fish that's coming here tomorrow. So that leaves bottom tank over here empty empty semi empty both of these are empty and both of these are pretty empty so tomorrow my dad can fill these up with fish and we'll have the next round of fish to go ahead and leave the rescue i worked uh, all last weekend and we cleared out a bunch of fish so you guys might not always see the list online but when i have stuff here that's not moving is when i go ahead and post them to facebook or if i have a massive list I post them to Facebook. Like even these tubs are kind of empty. I've got a catfish and a Paku there. This Paku just came in and yeah, we're pretty low right now, but it's a good thing. That means things are moving, fish are coming, fish are going. All right, so in preparation of this uh, stingray that's pregnant over here, what I want to do with her, I want to actually bring her out. And I think the best thing to do for her right now is to divide this tank off and put her in here alone where when she has her, her babies, no one's picking on her, no one's picking on the, 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 the babies. And I'm saying, you know, this Stingray and Brittany, they're gonna give birth on the same day. So to make room for that, I have a place to where I can uh, put this Indian shovel nose and possibly the white red tails. 
then the rest should be fine in here. Maybe even move the, the datnoid, who knows? Well, I'm going to discuss this with my dad. We're going to come up with a plan, and then we'll start executing it. Check this out. So we got all the stuff on this side. I didn't move them yet, but I had to make a divider for this tank. I lost my egg grating we had made for this tank, so I had to go and make something new. My dad had some PVC lattice sitting outside. So I'm like, huh, that looks like that, that can stop some big, big old fish. So I went ahead and went outside. I cut it to size. And now we've got a PVC divider in the tank. So basically we can have the pregnant female Ray over here. I can see her from the side. I can doctor her a little bit more, monitor the, the, the babies. And then once the babies come, I can have a tray floating on here and put the babies right into the tray. Now these holes are big enough that maybe a pup can swim through. So I might come back and put some smaller mesh up against it. So we will see, but there is still some fish that we want to move out of here. Oh, someone got in a fight with the uh, Wallagoliri. That looks like one of the catfish. So that had to be, I'd say either the Jow or the Goonch. I mean, maybe even I see a bite on him. They could have been going at it. So I might want to split these guys up regardless. Hey, one more thing before we move on. We went ahead and put this geophagus in here. Absolutely beautiful fish. He's going to join that 500 cube once he goes through quarantine. But I forgot I had him down there. And now that tank's empty for my dad to use for new fish. And this guy can go ahead and start his quarantine with the rest of these fish. Went ahead and put that lima shovelnose in there, you know, and this guy got pulled out of the thousand because I didn't want him to get messed with. So he's back in here to heal back up and we will try again. But super cool. All right, so I got her in this tub with water so she's moved as easy as possible. Now let her calm down a bit. You can see them parts of her back sticking out. That's actually uh, her pregnant belly. So we're gonna go ahead and move her into her new tank. Alright, so me and my dad agreed on putting the ray in here, the divider. Now we had to figure out where we were putting which fish. So for the time being, we're going to go ahead and move this wall over here. You guys just seen that bite out on the side. So we're just going to pull him out. It's either the jowl or the gooch in my opinion. So we're just going to move him to let him heal for now. Oh! He's heavy. <laughs> Waste time talking. Look what happens. <laughs> oh, there goes the broom. Good catch. All right, so we've got at least the jowl out of that tank, and uh, the we'll jowl, the wallagoliri. Yeah, the, the wallagoliri. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. So that leaves the jowl, the gooch, this Indian shovel nose. We're gonna go ahead and take these two white red tails. One's the phantom, one's the platinum. And we're gonna toss them up into 2200, correct? Yes. All right. Let me grab the stool and I'll. Now to lighten the load on here, because you want this pregnant one up here for having her babies. Yes. Cool. Hopefully the wind would be nice. Look at that alligator guard. He's like, where's the food? Where's the food? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Come here, buddy. smaller in there, huh? Oh, you're saying he looks smaller in this thing. He looks smaller in this thing. They all do when you look down upon them. When you look from the side, they look bigger. Alright. Oh, we should have got the GoPro and had it underwater when you released them. Yeah. I didn't think about that. We got to get used to having the new underwater camera. Oh yeah, you look like a beast in here. <laughs> All right, so that adds some fish into this tank. This is the platinum right here. But weren't we talking about getting the alligator guards out soon? Yes, we're actually not going to move this small guy. 
But this big guy right here, he's starting to cause some trouble in this tank. So yeah, he's the next one to come sure. out. Possibly tomorrow? We can put him in the pond to take yeah. off the load. Straight in the pond. So there goes the platinum red tail. And the phantom is back here. I'm actually going to go in and cut these guys up some food so they're not all hungry and picking on the new guys. Hopefully everyone gets along just peachy. All right, check her out, relaxing. She's actually gnawing on a bit of a food right now. But now you can see that hump on her back that I'm talking about. You can just see how it's raised and differentiated right there on each side of the back. As she moves, it kind of goes all funky different directions. The left side looks bigger right now, right there and there. So as this girl progresses, I will keep giving you guys updates. And like I said, I'll be able to show you now from the side and show you her hump. And hopefully we can see some baby movement here soon. But the rest of these guys will have to be dealt with in time. We got to move some other th things around. Some more stuff is coming. So we have to, uh, you know, prepare ourselves for, for that as well as keep on go going here. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We will catch you next time. Stay fishy, my friends.